Hello guys, in this video I will show how to find the derivative of a function using the limit definition. The derivative of f of x denoted as f prime of x is equal to the limit of f of x plus h minus f of x over h as h approaches 0. In this video I will show how to find the derivative of these two functions to x plus 1 and x squared plus 3. Let's begin. Given the function f of x equals to x plus 1, now our goal is to find the derivative using this formula. So the first step is to find f of x plus h. That simply means substitute x plus h for x. So that's 2 times x plus h plus 1. So now plug in the expressions. So we have f prime of x is equal to the limit of f of x plus h, which is this one, 2 times x plus h plus 1. And then minus f of x minus f of x is the given function. So that's 2x plus 1 over h as h approaches 0. So now if we're going to evaluate the limit of this function, we'll get the indeterminate form 0 over 0, which means to find the real limit, we need to simplify the function. So that is limit of distribute 2. So we have uh, 2x and 2h. And then plus 1 minus 2x minus 1 over h as h approaches 0. Next is to simplify the numerator. We'll combine like terms. So 2x minus 2x is 0. 1 minus 1, 0. So we have 2h in the numerator. So this is equal to the limit of 2h over h as h approaches 0. Then simplify it further. So we have cancel h. So we have limit of 2. So let's proceed here. So now this is equal to limit of 2 as h approaches 0, so limit of constant is equal to the constant, thus the, the derivative of the function is equal to 2. So this is our final answer. For the next example, we're going to consider the function f of x equals x squared plus 3. Same with example number 1, our objective here is to find the derivative of this function using this formula. So the first step is to find f of x plus h. And again, that simply means we need to substitute x plus h for x. So that's x plus h squared and then plus 3. The next is to plug in the the functions so f prime of x is equal to the limit of f of x plus h which is this one x plus h squared plus 3 and then minus f of x the given function over h as h approaches 0. Then, if we're going to evaluate the limit of this function as h approaches 0, we will get the indeterminate form 0 over 0. Thus, we need to simplify it to get the real limit. So, we will simplify the numerator. x plus h squared is equal to x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. And then we have plus 3. 
And then for this one, since this is subtraction of polynomials, don't forget to change the operations. So we have minus x squared minus 3 over h as h approaches 0. Then next is to combine like terms. So x squared minus x squared is 0. And then we have 3 minus 3, 0. So the remaining terms in the numerator are 2xh and then we have h squared. Then for the denominator, we still have h. So we're going to evaluate the limit as h approaches 0. Then next is to factor out h in the numerator. We will continue the solution here. So this is equal to the limit of factor out h using common monomial factoring. So we have 2x plus h over h as h approaches 0. Then cancel out h. So we have limit of 2x plus h as h approaches 0. So this is equal to, so we're going to evaluate the limit, so substitute 0 for h. So we have 2x plus 0. So the final answer, the derivative of the function is equal to 2x. This is our final answer.